Aristotle, 384 to 322 BCE, was an ancient Greek philosopher, scientist, dramatist, and major influencer of his time and throughout history. Aristotle's earliest surviving work, Poetics, heavily influences theater practitioners today as exemplified in their published works and productions. Also, we as an audience analyze texts and performances using Aristotle's concepts, whether we know it or not. While reading an entire play or watching a production, we observe plot or story. After grasping it well enough, we may notice character and language. Later, as we direct scenes and plays, we learn how to use theme, music, and spectacle to paint a more vivid picture of our envisioned stories. Leading with the most important and thorough of the six elements, Aristotle begins with an analysis of the plot. This element's central tenet depicts a story's wholeness with a clear beginning, middle, and end. Besides imitating complete actions within this structure, he argues that the plot should invoke pity and fear. As such, the hero should display happiness at first, only to suffer demise in the finale. Aristotelian principles on plot prove relevant today, especially with playwriting. Most plays include the universal form of a beginning, middle, and end, enabling more clarity and freedom to find creativity within this basic structure. Moreover, tragedies today still incite terror and pity, and the protagonist often initially starts happy, or at least experiences contentment tragically ending in unhappy circumstances. Aristotle's second element is characterization, and he lists four corresponding qualities. A character must be morally good, suitable to type, accurate to life, and consistent throughout. These notions remain relevant today, especially in acting. Most acting techniques include some character building or work to represent a more believable presence on stage. I invite you to think about Aristotle's six elements of drama when you read and watch plays and or productions. Maybe it'll inspire you to create your own content sometime.